In the 1830s, the first photographers used light-sensitive chemicals to capture images on paper. Today, machines do much the same, but with amazing speed, accuracy and versatility. In this digital age, there are still many who stick to this tried and tested method. The photo lab receives envelopes containing rolls of film for developing. Processing will turn each exposure into a negative image, then a positive one. That positive is what we know as a photograph. A scanner takes a digital photo of the order details specified on the packages. It tracks things such as the print size and finish, and the number of copies that have been ordered. A conveyor then sorts the envelopes into bins, grouping them with similar orders. Next, a machine extracts the film rolls from the metal capsules in total darkness. Exposing the film to light would ruin the photos. The envelopes go into bundles, so they can be later reunited with the right pictures and negatives. Here's what the machine looks like on the inside. A blade cuts open the metal capsules and another slices off the leader. The machine unravels and lines up as many as 60 meter long films end to end. A sticker joins the ends and identifies each film with a barcode. The machine measures the assembled strip, then winds it onto a reel inside a metal box. Another machine unwinds the reel and runs it under an infrared light so that a technician can check it for tears. Just one tiny tear could jam the machine and ruin all the photos. If a tear is found, it's repaired by hand. The technician makes the repair in total darkness. First, he applies tape to reattach the area. Blades then cut the tape evenly on both sides. The technician is able to see what he's doing on a TV monitor hooked up to an infrared camera inside. Developing the exposures requires four chemical baths, still in complete darkness. In the first, sulfates make the image appear as a negative. The second includes acetic acid to halt the effect of the sulfates. The last two baths preserve the image and rinse away chemical traces. To print the pictures, the negatives are loaded into yet another machine. This one contains light-sensitive paper. All it takes is a flash to transfer the image. A sensor instantly adjusts the intensity to correct any improper exposure by the photographer. To develop the prints, the paper goes through four chemical baths, similar to those used for the negatives. One bath reveals the image. Another stops that process, and two more preserve the image and rinse off the chemicals. This time, however, the paper then heads into an oven to dry for two minutes at 70 degrees Celsius. Now, a technician marks the pictures that are too bright, too dim or out of focus and removes them for redeveloping. Next, a machine unwinds the strip, scans the barcodes and cuts out the pictures that belong together. It also cuts the negatives into numbered strips of four. The photos and negatives are slipped into an envelope. The computer shows just what to include and a machine provides the film's original package. When you get your photos, you can check them against your original order. So you can make sure that everything's picture perfect.